J. Washington, when we left with an apparent left leg injury, was helped off. Mike McCann, the starter, is in. And on second down, a slant play. They'll move the chains. It appears they've already told the headlinesman to move it. First down from the 16. That's a keep. And right into the hands of this Minnesota defense and this crowd. Hoping for a personal foul. No penalty marker comes out. A loss of three on the sack. A little bit of a tug down there. And I guess if you're Jack Plummer. Plummer's pass into tight coverage is caught. But going to be about a yard short of the first. 52-yard field goal try. Third and ten. Robinson, sideline, Navarro again, and Navarro down to the 28-yard line, and they'll use the timeout. So back to the 10-yard line on first down. Reggie Corbett, can he find the room? He can't. A loss on the play as Benjamin St. Juiced shot of that to see if they had it wrapped up. Third down, screen pass, first down into Minnesota territory. It's Ricky Smalling, Central Florida, Nebraska native. Likely the next man up. Robinson to the sideline. And the catch made by Justice Williams, his fourth catch of the year. Off by a Rodney Smith three-yard rush. Briercy with the kick for Minnesota. And it's Aaron Young this time, little brother of Avery, still on his feet, finds a hole across the 30, making something out of nothing. Just killed his yards per catch, though. He's at 21 and a half coming into the game. I think he'll take the six points. I think you're right. Love that. <laughs> I, I think you're on to something, Gilmore. Javon Leak. He's taken a couple to the house in his career, down to the 34. Your eye should be at the belt buckle. Lower numbers. Should never see the head and shoulder fake. Leak will take it from the end zone. And a nice return last time to the 45. This one ends up at the 27. There is a flag in. McFarland loves the offense for that reason. He was an all-around back in high school. Now more of a chance to catch some passes. As Pigram wings it to the far side for a first down once again. So this one goes to Carlos Carrier, his first grab. Four plus delayed pressure. This to the sideline is going to be short of the line to gain for Demas. And it's fourth down again. St. Juice was right there with him. Get some run here. So Jackson back after the ankle sprain nice and Souza on target to Demas. Good plan coming into this game off the bye week that is causing a lot of problems for Brent Price defense so far. And Ryersy, very short kickoff. KJ Handler. Trying to get outside, and he's chased out of bounds. John Clifford, just six out of 16, fakes it to Journey Brown. On target there, K.J. Hamler, tackled by Benjamin St. Just, or that might have been a touchdown. There's Hamler, a lot of field to his side right there. Sean Clifford steps up in the pocket, fires on target. Jahan Dotson. Four and a half to go in the first quarter. Clifford. Look out from behind. Got it off with arms around his waist. And it's caught by Jahan Dotson. Second down and five. First run for Goodson. Makes a nice move. And sets up third down and short against this Minnesota defense with seven starters up front that are seniors. Minnesota, one of five remaining unbeatens, number eight in the college football playoff standings. Here's Goodson again, steps out of a tackle, crosses midfield, inside the 40. Only a three-man rush. Standing with time, long throw to the opposite sideline for Amir Smith-Marset. First down inside the 15. First down and 10 from the 14. Stanley playing with a lot of confidence. Was under pressure. Still delivered a strike. It is Tracy again to the 5 where he's thrown down by St. Juice. Into the eye on second and short with a fullback Brady Ross. Ahead of Tyler Goodson. Goodson's got it. Behind a block from Ross. He's got a first down. Into Minnesota territory to the 45. 11 more. 
On the bootleg, Stanley in the flats, finds Tracy, pulled down quickly by Benjamin St. Juice. Hello, Mike Pereira. Normally you say get a man-beating route. I'm not doing that. i got to run the football. Quarterback run for Marty. Very close. It looks like he's got it. But they need to commit to the run game for the rest of this first half. Oh. Three and a half more yards. Benjamin St. Juice brings him down. I want to know what play call that is. Swing pass to Anderson. Scoops it up. Makes a move at the 25. Down inside the 20 to about the 18-yard line. There's a first down throw in the flat. And he's got it again. Let's see if this is going to be knocked down after a three-yard game. Second and 10. It's Groshek. And Garrett Groshek barrels for a nice game near the marker. Just take over here. And they fake it to Taylor. Cone rolls out. And they flip it in the flat there. Matt Stocky or Mason Stocky, the fullback. They're down. They have struggled big time today. And it's a screen. And it's a good call against the Blitz. And Ferguson, the tight end, is going to pick it up. And Big Fella still barreling and dragging Gophers into Minnesota territory for the 45. It's the ball into Minnesota territory. And now Cohen looking to throw again on first down. Flips it off short. And Taylor, look out. Taylor, stiff arm, and a nice tackle made. St. Juice. Taylor with more receiving yards and rushing yards. And now Cohen with his back going to walk it downfield. <laughs> and navigating his way is Cephas. He's got it. Taylor running right this time. Tries to hurdle a tackler. That didn't work all that well, but he's got first down yards to the 47. The intensity, this Big Ten rivalry. And the kickoff taken, and it's a reverse. Brookshank hands it off, a little trickery, and the Badgers get a big return. And Guerrero is going to get down into Minnesota territory. Keeper. And they caught the goal for Zetrich napping. He'll get back the penalty yardage plus three. That his completion percentage will jump up from 57% to around 65. Once again, he goes for Schwartz, and he's got the first down. Uh, make no mistake. And full of terrors. Full of terrors. Yes. Full of terrors, even in 2020. Linebackers and safeties. They'll go with the wide receiver. Uh, Jeff Sweep there, Shivers. Pat Sullivan, who was such an outstanding player for the Tigers in 1971, a Heisman winner. And this, to honor him today, here at the Outback Bowl. Nix, far side and a juggle, and indeed he does hang on over at the far side, J.J. Wilson. Nix to Williams, how they started this season against Oregon, and Williams is down. Another third down, Minnesota. Oh boy, a little post-play stuff, soaring Marin. Chibers couldn't get in, he had a similar run. Trying to add an 11-point lead. Milton looking to throw, high one. Bell's got it, and they can't escape, but they grabbed the face mask, so that'll cost them 15 yards. Only you thought Maryland was going to be a juggernaut against Northwestern. Opening play, Tonga Vailoa for J. We'll see how it plays out over the course of the season, but I agree with both of you that a, a governing body would be a grand idea to have some uniformity, as this is pushed back by Benjamin St. Juice on Daryl Jones. Ellis on the return. Ellis to the outside, but not to the 30. Like it was nothing. He will throw, and he's got Demas. He spins across the 40, and it'll be second down and one. The calf is out there as a weapon as well. Martinez rolls right. And the pass is complete. Dangerous ball when it's just floating like that in the air for so long. And now Martinez, very comfortable running the football, actually stays in bounds. Quickly back to the line of scrimmage. 
This would be the first pass of the second half for Martinez. And it's complete. Oliver Martin with the grab. What's been his what's been the punting average? The first punt, what was it? For Crawford, his first punt was 46. And this is shorter. And it's Ingram at the 50. And he's able to run it near the 45. Here's a third and 10. Back to pass. Mertz looking underneath. Roshik didn't get the first down. That's a tough guy name. Under two minutes. Roshik again and waiting for some room and it opens up. Nice. Ooh, Down to the 40-yard line. He's a few plays away from potentially true joy and excitement if Chase Wolf can engineer a scoring drive. They'll call up Garrett Roshik and a tough run.